What is their treatment for PTSD? Great question. Let's talk about it. Just to let you know what you're in for in this video, this will not be a deep dive into the STAIR protocol because this video isn't about me teaching other mental health professionals how to actually do STAIR. What it is about is educating veterans, service members, their families about STAIR treatment to see if maybe it's right for you. If this is your first time here, my name is Dr. McCleary and I'm a licensed clinical psychologist and Navy veteran. And my channel is dedicated to educating veterans, service members, and their families about mental health. So if that's you, consider subscribing. If you're a veteran watching this, you're already familiar with some acronyms. Let's just add this one to the rest of them. STAIR is almost obviously an acronym and it stands for Skills Training in Effective and Interpersonal Regulation. So STAIR's a lot easier to say. STAIR is an evidence-based treatment for PTSD. And it might be one that you haven't heard as much about. What evidence-based means is that this particular protocol, this particular treatment for PTSD has been found effective in reducing PTSD symptoms. That's basically all it means. STAIR focuses on emotional regulation and social or interpersonal functioning. Basically what that means is it helps you to recognize and regulate your emotions and also helps with your relationships. For some people, their relationships, their families, their partners are actually the reasons that they're actually seeking treatment. So if that's you, STAIR might actually be a very good treatment for you because it focuses in on those areas. It focuses in on regulating our emotions. It focuses in on how our trauma affects how we interact with other people and also how we can fix it. The STAIR protocol can be completed in as short as eight sessions, so not very long. It can also be completed in both an individual or a group format. If you're getting value from this content right now, then go ahead and smash that like button so YouTube will show this video to another veteran. It can be used as a conjunctive therapy. So you're doing some other type of PTSD or other type of mental health treatment at the same time, or it can be used as a standalone. Where I have seen STAIR use kind of the most is either a standalone or as a good way to start with PTSD treatment with a protocol that doesn't really focus too much on you actually talking about the trauma itself. So not revisiting the images or necessarily even the thoughts that are associated with the trauma, which also makes it a little bit easier to start with this than maybe another type of PTSD treatment where you are going to have to go into the details of what happened, where it happened and the emotions and the thoughts that come along with that. With STARE, you focus more on the emotional regulation and also you focus more on how the trauma affects your relationships, which often doesn't have to include you going into the details of your trauma. STARE helps you identify emotions. And why this is helpful is because Oftentimes, after a trauma, it's actually difficult to figure out what we're actually feeling. And sometimes, it's hard to regulate those emotions. STARE helps you with that as well. So, not just identifying emotions, but also being able to build tolerance and being able to regulate those difficult emotions that often come up with PTSD. You'll also work on connecting the trauma 
to how it affects your social relationships. In other words, you're going to connect how your trauma has influenced how you interact with people. What have you learned from your trauma that may be causing problems in areas of your social interactions today? Here's an easy example of this. Somebody has experienced some childhood abuse from, from maybe one of their caretakers. And they have essentially figured out that, well, people can't be trusted, especially the people that are close to them. So what might they do when somebody tries to get close? You can probably figure that one out, but they're either going to fight that person and say, no, you ain't going to get close. Or they're going to have some struggles there. Maybe they feel like they don't even have the ability to click, get close to somebody else. With stare, you often learn how to be a better communicator. And you also learn how to flex some of those reactions that you might have when you are triggered. What are you doing when you are triggered? You learn to have a little bit of flexibility regarding expectations and social interactions. And for a lot of people, this is exactly what they need to, what they want to work on. Because so many times, the people that I see didn't volunteer to see me. Their wife sent them to me. Their kids sent them to me. Their boss sent them to me. Traumas affect relationships negatively all the time. And when somebody has PTSD, this is often an area that gets heavily affected. Stare can help with that. Something to think about. If this video was helpful for you, and I hope that it was, please like it or consider subscribing to my channel if you want to learn more about PTSD and mental health. But more important than that, if this video was helpful for you, well, that means it can probably be helpful for another veteran or service member or friend or family member of a service member. So I ask that you share it with them because at the end of the day, that's really what all this is about. One veteran trying to help another.